Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I have a really fun project for you. This is a resin ocean piece. This is actually a round canvas. It's called a convexo canvas. You can get it from Jerry's Artorama. You can get it on Amazon, various places. And I pre-spray painted the back with some blue and some kind of uh, tan there. And then I'm actually using real sand for this piece. So I started off with a thin layer of Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin on the sand section and then I put a layer of sand pretty evenly on there. Um, now I'm working on my blues. Once again, this is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And for my colors for my blues here, I am using Polycolor Sky Blue Mica and then Alumalite um, Ocean Blue Resin Dye, and then I will also be using the Alumalite White Resin Dye for my waves. So I put my two different um, colors of blue on here, starting off with the lighter blue and then going in there with the darker blue, and I just spread them around with my hands and kind of get them a little bit blended, but the heat gun is actually going to do most of the work with blending, so don't worry about it too much. Just make sure you get full coverage. It really doesn't even take a lot of resin. You're going to need just a few ounces. This is a, I believe, a 16 inch round. And you can probably see, but I left a little dry area in between the water and the sand. So I'm putting some clear resin in there now. And that's to give a little bit of a buffer between my white for the waves and then my ocean blue so that I get some white waves instead of light blue waves. This can kind of help. It's not necessary, but it's a, a good little trick. Now, when it comes to adding the white, do not use a lot. You're going to just put a pretty thin line. Remember, you can always add more. You can't take it off. And then I'm using a heat gun to heat up the entire piece first. And then I'm using it to push the white up into the blue to create my ocean waves. And you can push this up as far or uh, <laughs> as not far as you'd like. It all just depends on your perspective. If you're looking at the beach from further away, you'll have smaller waves. Now, once I was done with that, I went in with my white again to kind of clean up my line. And that's it for this first layer. Um, you can, of course, leave the piece at this. Uh, you would at least want a clear coat, especially to cover that sand fully but um, you don't have to do anything else to the waves or the ocean. If you don't want to, you can just leave it like this. But on this piece, I actually decided to do more than one layer. And if you wanna do two waves, I recommend doing the second wave in the next layer. Otherwise, you'll just end up messing up your first, la uh, your first wave and it'll just get all blended with the blue. So that's just my recommendation and that is what I did here. So I let that first resin layer fully dry and then I went back in and I put clear just over the water, still didn't put it over the sand at this point. And then I went back in with another layer of white. I wanted to clean up that wave a little bit. I wasn't perfectly happy with it. So same thing, I took my heat gun, heated up the entire piece and then pushed that white up into the clear at this point. So it's not going into blue, it's just going into clear. And then I went in there for a second wave. And same thing, push it up and there you go. Once that second layer was dry, I put a final layer on it and here's how it looks complete. Thank you so much for watching.